is our fire zone drill, working on crease play. Again, I call, call him Ivan. You guys might call him the hot or the one. Uh, might be a little bit biased. I was a crease defender at Maryland. I think he's the most important player on the field. He's got to be a strong communicator, got to have a lot of knowledge, and his footwork's got to be precise. If he can communicate and have great footwork, that allows him to anticipate and communicate to all the guys on the field. If he doesn't have both of those, he's more worried about himself than the other members of his team. Coaching points here. The Ivan should always be in a ready position. Ready position, knees bent, sticks up, all right? Nice athletic position. Should always be having a conversation. Every time that ball's moved, he needs com to communicate, I'm the Ivan or I'm the hot, I'm the one, every single pass, because it's changing. Every, everyone else's function is basing off of him, and if he's good, he should be saying, Mike, you got my two. Mike, you got my two. I'm Ivan, you got my two. Constant conversation, they should always be talking. Those defenders are few and far to find. They just don't like talking to each other, but that's where we're kind of building up, and we'll introduce that kind of in this drill. The maintaining the ball, you man, triangle. Um, anyone have a question on that term? I'm just throwing it out there. I haven't really covered it. Um, basically what it is, is if Mike's covering has the ball, you're my guy. I want to make sure you guys are in a good triangle. I can see everything. All right. As the crease guy, as the Ivan, you're in the center of the field. You're going to be changing that ball you man triangle a lot, which is why footwork comes so uh, imperative for him. Uh, next thing we coaching points in this, identifying and anticipating the Dodger. We want to know who's dodging. Is it their best midi, all right? Or is it a D midi? Or is it the third midi in the third line? That all dictates when we're going to be sliding. Um, we want to anticipate, or we, we got to know what his strong hand is, all right? So we know if he's dodging on the right-hand alley side, he's a right-hander, that's going to gain our attention a little bit more and, and it plays into our anticipation. When is he dodging? Is he dodging to initiate the offense? Is he dodging on that back side? All that, those guys are all trying to accomplish different things. Usually when you initiate the dodge, you're looking to draw that slide to get the defense moving. All right, so we got to realize kind of when they're dodging. And then where are they dodging? Are they dodging down the alley, dodging on the wing, dodging from X? These are all things that should be going in the Ivan's head. Um, head steps, all right? These are our cheat steps to make the slide shorter. So I might be covering the projector here. But if I'm going to be sliding, I need to start taking my head steps, stepping away from him. All right. As that guy starts getting into his dodge, my head steps are going to take me a little bit further away from him. But as I'm taking these head steps, each head step I'm take, my head's looking back and forth. And I usually tell our guys it's a two to one ratio. So if I'm hedging out two steps, I decide if I need to go. If not, I'm taking one step back. All right. We don't want to keep hedging out, hedging out, and get seven yards away from our guy and not slide. And most, most of the time when we do take a lot of head steps, guess what squares up to that ball carrier? Your shoulders. So if you're dodging here, my head steps, I'm covering him. I got the triangle I talk about. Take one or two head steps, that puts me in a, it makes the slide shorter. If I take any more, my shoulders automatically square up to you. We get into no man's land where I haven't slid to you and I'm not covering this guy. By maintaining that triangle, I can use gesture steps fake it out. I can do a lot of things and I'm always in a good position to get back to my guy. Head on a swivel like I mentioned. Uh, we're going to introduce the fire zone. I'll get to more of that on the next slide. Meeting, we want to meet the Dodger at the top of the fire zone which is anticipation and kind of plays into those four W's. Uh, when you're sliding, our job is to neutralize the threat. Oftentimes you have guys who make great slides, but they're flying out there at 110 miles per hour and they run straight by that ball carrier. And it was a great slide, but it's all for nothing because he was out of control. Your job is sliding, you're neutralizing that ball carrier. Um, this show is going to help our Ivan start identifying when to go, when not to go. And then kind of to your point, have courage in his convictions. What I mean by that, if he thinks he needs to go, go. If you don't think you need to go, then get back so everyone else can get back and space back out. So that's kind of my rule of thumb. Make your decision, be confident in it, go or don't go. And that's why I love this drill because it starts kind of ingraining that into our defender's head. So you see right here this rectangle, uh, this is what I call the fire zone. Um, fire zone is going to change by the Dodger 
If Paul Rabel is dodging against our team, this fire zone is going to be huge. If it's a D midi, it might be a little bit smaller. Depending on the parts of the field, it's going to change. Uh, I set it up with cones so our guys kind of have a visual of it um, and just starts kind of giving them ideas of when it's a good time to go. Uh, see down here we have our D guy and we have an offensive guy down here just being the offensive guy is just a statue down there giving our Ivan uh, abilities to make, set up that ball man U triangle. As the Ivan, Coach uh, Hogan referred to it as the rider line at Jacksonville we call it the Z line, same thing, imaginary line in the middle of the field. Our Ivan should never be on that Z line. All right, he needs to be stepping away from that. Again, it's going to shorten his slide. Uh, so that kind of takes down here on the defensive side. Uh, we have cones, one and two, uh, just below the restraining line. These cones probably should be, I think it just transfer, one cone should probably be right here on the edge of the fire zone and the other one right in the middle. We're going to have a coach sitting in between these two cones. That coach is going to give uh, the ball carrier two instructions. He's going to tell him he's dodging, or he's going to tell him if he's dodging into the fire zone outside of the fire zone or if he's going to be clipping that corner. All right, by clipping the corner, that's kind of that indecision where that crease guy needs to make, make a decision if he needs to go or if he needs not to go. So that's kind of how we need to go. By the coach verbalizing that to the offensive guy, he knows exactly what to look for in this defensive footwork. Um, he's also going to tell him if he's just going to speed dodge straight into the fire zone or if he's going to do a little split dodge, get a little bit more movement. So you can see. Right here, D guy heads on a swivel. He's starting his head step. This guy's dodging. He's doing a little split dodge and in and out. But you can see he's getting close to the Z line. And when he breaks out of that, he's going to be coming into that fire zone most likely. So we want this guy anticipating it. As he hits that fire zone, we want to be meeting him around the top of that fire zone. We don't want to be meeting him down here at seven yards because that's a great shot. We want to meet him up at that 10 to 12 yard line, which is why I like to use these cones. These two guys do a great job. He's on his man, starts his head step, and watch that slide. Great slide angle, good approach neutralizing the Dodger. Watch this guy, this is one of our freshmen. If you look, I send him back here, but I like to tell our defenders, your feet should almost, as a defender, your feet should never be pointing towards the sideline. Almost in any part of the game, if you're a defender, there's very few instances where your feet should be pointing to a sideline. All right, we want our feet pointing to the corner of the fields. Again, that plays into our 45 degree angle concept that I've always talking about. So I bring that up because you watch this uh, freshman come up here. His feet are more to the sideline than to a corner of the field. So when he hedges, watch this slide angle. He runs on a straight line. He has a bad angle, so he's got to veer off. That's a, that's a horrible slide. That guy's going to run straight through the stick. If you watch those first two guys, they came, led with their stick, and got their body into it. And he does the exact same thing here. This one, I think I'm telling the offense guy, clip that uh, corner of the fire zone. And you can see our D guy, he's making that decision of not to go. All right, and he gets back. Now, two things I like to do I didn't mention is this, this is a coach here without gloves. But as this drill is going, I like to make this statue here, change hands of what hands his stick in. All right, that lets me know that this defender is paying attention because if he's not going, he needs to get back in, check down on that stick, and then relocate the ball. Advancing this drill. This is probably one of my favorite drills. Again, all these drills uh, we kind of do when the offense is taking that 20 minutes to shoot. All right, so same concept. We're working on our Ivan work. All right, and what this drill is going to simulate is a dummy dodge down an alley. All right, he's not a threat, so our Ivan's going to work on hedges, reading it, realize he's not a threat. He's rolling back, throwing a pass back up top to an offensive guy who's in the center of the field. He's catching it and dodging straight into that fire zone. So what we're working on here is our Ivan, all right? He's starting to hedge out to this ball here, realize it's a dummy dodge. He's outside of the, or outside of the fire zone. As he rolls back, he's busting his butt to this side of the Z line, getting his, checking back in on his guy, getting his head step and firing out there. So often uh, at the younger age groups, 
you see this guy, he's out here, he's hedging. When that ball gets thrown up over here, he just stops at his guy. And he doesn't get those cheat, those head steps. And that guy's dodging, hands free, only has to beat one guy. Um, so that's what this drill is going to be working on, is getting our Ivan to cover all that ground. And we're going to teach him to be physical in this. Because a good crease offensive guy, if he sees that ball changes right a line and that Ivan or hot guys come back over, he's going to get in his way, set a screen. So we get some physical going in here. If you have the football pads, like Coach Hogan said, bring that out in this drill. Get your defense, defenders a little bit riled up.